welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make these face masks. These literally could not be any easier. Now I want to point out before we start the tutorial that these are not a substitution for the N95 masks that everyone is talking about right now. However, um, from what I understand, they are being used by nurses and doctors that are serving in other areas of the hospital to help keep them safe. You can also use them on patients if you have someone at home who is sick with the flu or a cold um, to keep them from coughing out little droplets all over the place. I have even heard of a couple areas who are asking for people to hand make these and donate them to the hospitals uh, because they are running so low on masks. So I wanted to get this video out for you guys. Um, definitely check your area and see if your hospitals are asking for people to hand make these. It's a great way for you to give back to your community and help out right now. These are really simple. They're just kind of a pleated mask and then they've got, of course, the elastic bands to hook around your ears. Uh, they take, I wanna say, about five or so minutes to make one of these. They're really, really fast. So if you had a lot of pieces cut out, you could literally whip out dozens of these in a relatively short period of time. If you are going to make these for donation, I believe they are asking that you use a tightly woven fabric, kind of helps the spread of anything getting through the mask, and also to keep in mind that both men and women are wearing them. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So for this project, you're gonna need three pieces of fabric. Mine are six inches by nine inches, and I've got a cotton quilting fabric. I've got a piece of flannel for the middle layer, and then I've got another piece of cotton quilt fabric. And then you're gonna need two pieces of elastic that are, this one is an eighth of an inch, I think, um, by seven inches long. I've heard a couple things on these elastics. Some people say the thinner the better because it's a little bit more comfortable. Um, so this is just what I had on hand. You'll also need some pins or I actually kind of like these wonder clips and probably a pair of scissors or a rotary trimmer. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to take the flannel piece and just lay it down. I'm going to take the outside fabric so that it is right side up and just line it right on top of that flannel just so that it's all nice and straight. Then I'm gonna take one of our elastic pieces Pieces, and I'm going to pin or clip it about a half an inch down and I'm just going to place a clip there and then just making sure you don't twist it or anything I'm going to do the same thing down here so about half an inch in and clip it there and I'm going to do that same thing to the other side next I'm going to take the lining fabric and place it right side down on top of all of that and we're gonna reclip everything, making sure that we still have our little bits of elastic. And the elastic might be kind of pulling just a little bit, that's okay. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is take this over to our sewing machine. I'm gonna leave a hole over here on one of these sides, about two and a half inches wide. I'm gonna sew starting here all the way around and back. Make sure you backstitch at your stops and starts here and then double stitch over where these elastic bands are just because they will have some tension on them. Now when you get to this corner, just leave your needle in the down position, raise your presser foot, twist it around, and keep sewing. Just make sure that your little strap here is out of the way and you don't sew through this elastic. All right, so our project should be looking something like this. We're gonna go ahead now and turn our face mask out. If you'd like, you can kind of clip these corners off just a little bit. It'll kind of help everything turn out a little bit better. Just don't clip through your stitch line and you'll be good to go. And then we can just carefully turn our mask right side out. Then you can use your fingers to kind of push out these corners. Um, and then if you don't have one of these, um, I, it's just a little hair marker. If you don't have one of these, you can use a pencil or a pin cap or anything that's semi pointy and just kind of help get those corners turned out a little bit nicer. Don't push too hard, obviously, so you don't push through your fabric, but just get it nice and turned out. And then I'm gonna grab my iron and we're gonna press this a little bit. This opening right here will get closed up in just a minute, but we're gonna finger press it right now and press it with our iron. So just keep track of which side your opening is on. And then I'm gonna grab my iron and just kind of press those so they're nice and straight. The next thing I'm gonna do is take this mask and just fold it down so I have about like a quarter of an inch or a little bit more overlapped. And I'm just going to put a clip there on both sides, 
just to kind of hold it in place so it's even. And then we're going to do that one more time. And just make sure they're going the same way. I'm also just going to press it really quick in between there just to kind of help things lay nicely. And now we're going to take this back over to our sewing machine and we're just going to sew all the way around this edge. It'll keep the creases in place, it will close up our opening, and then we'll be done with our mask. So here is our finished mask that might have been looking kind of small to you but then when you pull these apart it obviously gets large enough to cover your entire face. Definitely suggest reaching out in your local area and seeing if anyone is requesting a homemade um, mask. So hopefully this tutorial has helped some of you out and as a sewing community we can give back to um, those in need right now as well. Thank you for joining me for today's tutorial. I hope it helps some of you guys out and I will see you in the next one.